Hey familia, Miranda here, back with, uh, I guess, part two to my huge mega movie mail day that I, you know, everything I got over the couple weeks that I was gone from YouTube. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I picked up from Goodwill. I got one thing from Mercari and then everything I got from eBay, you guys. So without further ado... This is what I got from Goodwill. So as I mentioned in my previous video, if you guys haven't seen it, it will be linked in the description box below. Um, I'm trying to collect all of the American Girl movies as possible. So I did actually come across a couple at Goodwill. So we have Sage Paints the Sky. She's one of the newer American Girl dolls, I would say, like from the recent years. And same with McKenna Shoots for the Stars. I want to actually say, I don't know, these might have Blu-ray releases. I know some of the American Girl movies do, but not all of them. Um, I vaguely remember, I think, seeing maybe one of these on Blu-ray, like at Dollar Tree or something, but I never came across it, but people were hauling it. But anywho, we got two more additions to the American Girl collection. Next up, I went ahead and picked up this movie here. Um, I know nothing about it, but I am digging the cast. You have Ryan Philippe, uh, Rachel Lee Cook, Claire Forlani, and Tim Robbins in Antitrust. Um, by the way, everything I got is all uh, DVDs, you guys. Again, I went to the one Goodwill that has the crazy expensive Blu-rays, and uh, so I only got DVDs again. Um, uh, I went with my sister and it was just kind of a quick little trip so I just kind of quickly scanned through the movies and this is just everything that I found. Um, this movie I did not know of until uh, Mr. Nichols uh, showed it in his Robin Williams um, video that he did you guys. He has an awesome awesome Robin Williams collection. He literally has like every film. I think he was missing a couple but he literally has everything that Robin Williams has been in. So uh, you guys, make sure you check out that video of his. I'll leave it linked in the description box below. Um, but anywho, this is House of D. Uh, like I said, I never heard of this one from Robin Williams. So um, looks kind of interesting. So be checking that out. To add to the Disney Channel original collection, we have Camp Rock number two. I don't even own the first one, um, but I went ahead and picked this up. Honestly, I've never even seen the Camp Rock movies. Again, this was a, a little bit kind of after, you know, kind of my time, I guess you could say. Um, I think this probably came out like when I was like in uh, maybe high school. I don't know. Does this have a date on it? No, it does not. No, it says 2010 DVD release. So yeah, kind of like uh, high school time for me. <laughs> but I am trying to collect everything I can on DVD or Blu-ray that is Disney Channel original. So I mean, this falls into that. Um, I'll eventually watch the Camp Rock movies, but since I picked up number two, now I gotta see if I gain number one. Uh, next up, the, actually the next two movies are based on true stories. That's why I got them. You guys know I'm a sucker for true stories. It's honestly like my favorite kind of movie to actually watch. Um, and I actually got this one because it does have a uh, Carla Gugino. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her last name. Um, but it's the inspiring true story, The Mighty Max. I vaguely remember hearing about this movie like a long time ago. Um, like the, the name of this movie just rings a bell. But basically, I think this is a college, uh, like a college, yeah. The Immaculate College basketball team. Mm. But yeah, it's about her and I, you know, obviously basketball and stuff like that. She's the coach and everything. So I thought I would go ahead and check it out. I mean, I do enjoy basketball movies and it's not every day you see a uh, like, you know, female basketball team movie. So got that. And then the last one that I got, you have Billy Crudup, Donald Sutherland and Monica Potter in Without Limits. And this is the story about Steve, probably going to butcher this, uh, Prefontaine. Um, he was the 
he was a champion's champion holder of every American distance running record from 2,000 to 10,000 meters. So it's about, you know, track. And I was just reading and I did not realize that he, I guess he's from Oregon. <laughs> it says the short life and fast times of the fiery Oregon distance runner. So that's kind of cool considering, I mean, hey, I'm in Oregon. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. I actually don't think I have any like sort of movies like this, um, you know, like true stories or like any sort of like sports movie that's based on like track. So that's kind of cool. So that is everything from Goodwill. All right, so I got one item from Mercari, you guys. This is the first time I have ever ordered from Mercari. I just never come across any good deals or anything or anything of interest. I just, I just have like no luck with Mercari, you guys. But my buddy Brian, aka the Horror Punk, um, he's a good friend here on YouTube and Instagram. I'll leave all of his uh, info down below. But he uh, just finds some really cool titles. Uh, he's obviously into horror, you guys. So if you're a fan of horror and all those like interesting titles, he just does some amazing hauls and goes to some really uh, cool places, places we don't have here in Oregon. And uh, he just finds some neat things. Um, but he actually sent me a link to this because um, I saw he had hauled it. And it was one that recently uh, um, like I was came aware of. And uh, I think I, I don't remember if it was something that somebody had recommended in a video or um, well, something on Instagram. I forget. But anywho, <laughs> he called this movie and so he sent me a link because he got it his for a good price. And so um, he sent me, like I said, the link and, uh, you know, I got this too for a pretty decent price, I would say. Um, and it's definitely not one that you would really come by like thrifting or anything like that. And it is factory sealed, you guys. And that is gummo. <laughs> interesting title um this movie like even from the trailer and what i've read about it and everything and the pictures online it just looks very i don't know like cringy disgusting weird i don't know but it's just I, it caught my interest <laughs> nonetheless you guys so uh, <laughs> i am very very curious to uh watch this um it is rated r obviously <laughs> for pervasive pervasive i cannot read today pervasive depiction of anti-social behavior of juveniles um, including violence substance abuse sexuality and language um this is from 2001 and yet it's just one that i, I said i never heard of and then it just recently i want to say like a couple months ago um i found out about it so and I've been wanting it ever since. So we have Gummo here, you guys. Um, so looking forward. It's very, very strange. So <laughs> so thank you, Brian, for uh, sending me the link so I could get this. You know what? I forgot that I had gotten something from Disney Movie Insiders. Um, this was a couple weeks ago when they had their uh, Hot Reward Wednesday. So every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, they have a Hot Reward. And sometimes they do like double movies. And so um, I do already own these two movies, but I got them for a future giveaway. Um, and that is The Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy here. So it was only 400 points for the two of them. If you were to keep them though, which I'm not, um, they do come with points inside and it's I believe 150 each. So in the end, if you redeem those points, technically you would only get these movies for 100 points, um, which is cool. But like I said, I already own both. So I'm just gonna be saving these for a future giveaway. All right, so moving on to eBay, you guys. I have not too, too many pickups. Um, there is some Disney in here, which I'm pretty excited about, you guys. Um, the first one is Lady and the Tramp number two, Scamps Adventure. So I have the first one, second one. I think I've seen this maybe like one time. I don't really remember too much about it, but obviously, you know, it's their, their son. Um, so, hey, looking forward to it. <laughs> it's like a, a repeat of mom and dad there. But it does have the slip and everything on it. It's in great condition. So I'm excited to check this one out. 
So yeah, I think I've maybe once I've seen it, so. All right, the next two actually come from the same person. Check out this Flamingo Bubble Mailer. Awesome, awesome. Um, and so actually these were bids that I won for these movies and they are both Disney and they are two that I've been wanting to get but they were the kind of more expensive Disney titles. Um, I believe I paid like seven bucks for each of these, which was not bad because they're still factory sealed. And these two specific titles um, are going for anywhere like 30 to like 40 bucks still. And that's on Amazon, you guys. Um, and even on eBay, some sellers, they have these going for like crazy amounts and whatnot. But we have... Um, the, this is actually a, mo a Disney Movie Club exclusive, and it is the second and third Cinderella movies. So I'm sure my girls will be very excited about this. Um, they enjoy the first one. I enjoy the first one, obviously, um, but we did not have these. So we got two and three Cinderella. So number two is Dreams Come True. Number three, A Twist in Time. And I'm not part of the Disney Movie Club, so I don't get those. Um, and I know that they're like hard to come by and when they sell them online, they're just expensive. So, but we got that. The next one is, uh, this is Peter Pan number two. It's a uh, return to Neverland. This one too, still factory sealed here with the slip. So that is awesome. Next up, you guys, have another Disney title here. Another one that I have been meaning to add to the collection. And I did also get this one at a pretty good price. It does have the slip and everything, which I am excited about. And that is Pinocchio. I have been wanting this one for so, so long. I love this movie. I haven't seen it probably since I was a kid, but Pinocchio is just such a cute movie. It's fun. Um, I do have like a live action version that has a... Is it Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I think? Um, but nonetheless, I needed this one for the collection. So happy to finally have it. All right, the next item uh, is a movie I've been wanting to add to the collection for a very, very long time. And I just could never find it at a decent price. Um, I believe if you get it new, it's like, I want to say 20 or 25 bucks and it only has DVD release you guys um, and I used to love this movie as a kid um, I remember just really enjoying it you know it's adventure and everything and you know this kid he's trying to save this panda and that is the amazing panda adventure and snapper you guys it is in a snapper case and it does have the artwork on it right there but yes, I remember really enjoying this as a kid. So I'm so happy to have gotten this one. I believe this was either four or five bucks. So not bad. Like I said, if you're trying to get it brand new, you're looking at at least 20 bucks. So got the Amazing Panda Adventure. And then there is one more title here. Another one too. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so freaking so freaking excited for this one i haven't seen this in years but this used to come on bet all the time when i was younger and i just i always used to watch it and i was so happy that i was able to find it at a really good price because this one too was the last time i checked i think on amazon it was going uh i want to say for like 30 something i believe so somewhere around there like the 30 dollar ballpark but uh oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited <laughs> and it only has a dvd no blu-ray release you guys we have q-tip mary j blige and uh i don't know who the other person is listed here but we have prison song i love this movie you guys i love this movie um and so i'm so excited to have this um yeah, basically he uh, goes to jail for a crime and uh, yeah, it's just kind of about him and his life in jail and everything and yeah, it's just, Fat Joe's also in this too, you guys. <laughs> so, Prison Song, I'm so happy to have this in the collection. I'm so looking forward to revisiting it. Um, so, 
There's one song in particular in here that I like. Like it has some pretty good music. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this like a musical, but there are kind of a lot of, you know, songs in it. Um, but yeah, prison song. And that is it for today, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of these pickups. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.